So uh, I'm stopping here. Pumps ready to go, I hope. To give me a chance to, <laughs> to like, get everything done methodically and uh, not stress. So port side here was the worst. And still is when it which means that I can't paint. You can hear it. Hello and welcome back to Building Vilda. Last week Axel started cleaning the boat in preparation for spraying the last coat of high build white primer. This episode is a one-man show. I'll let Axel walk you through his wonderful journey of painting Vilda in white. Enjoy! So that's the, the whole deck vacuumed and <laughs> when you get close and personal with a deck like this you find imperfections and I've done a little bit of sanding, mostly sanding off excessive uh, like overspray and, uh, and some brush drips and stuff like that. And <laughs> while doing that, you also find eh, there's a few holes in the deck, like uh, pinholes. And uh, yeah, where do you stop? So uh, I'm stopping here. I'm gonna paint the boat instead. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're, they're in the deck here and uh, they uh, will mostly be covered in um, anti-skid or anti-slip or and the few holes uh, that still remain after that I can live with them. Now that the whole deck is vacuumed uh, you will take uh, rags and uh, damp rags and get rid of the rest of the dust. Right now it's looking like no rain for four days and decent temperatures, so perfect, uh, perfect for, for paint. So that's the, the deck clean. <laughs> I've uh, wiped it all off with, um, with damp rags just to get rid of the dust. So there's no... Yeah, it's clean. Uh, and ready to paint. So plan is to paint tomorrow. I got the rest of the boat to clean as well. So uh, some coffee, lunch, and then uh, on to the sides. That is a wrap, people. She is uh, squeaky clean, dry, and uh, this will take the overspray as I spray the decks. And uh, if if uh, uh, the spraying of the decks doesn't take way too long, oh, which it might, <laughs> then. Uh, I'll be ready to paint the sides as well tomorrow.
so I got I got some paint <laughs> and uh, yeah I have 40 liters it'll be enough I think I might have some extra but it wouldn't be my much I'm expecting like 15 liters for the deck and then uh, 10 liters each side or, or less than that I really hope I got that right this time uh, but I, I think so I think so pumps ready to go I hope yeah. pumps running at least and it seems to have suction unlike last time we started it off uh, there was a something that wasn't quite uh, as it should be in, in, in the pump. Uh, yeah, something that got stuck. There's like a non-return valve, I think, valve valve. And uh, that seemed to be, uh, well, probably not moving so much because as soon as I released that, got the ball out, put it back together, then yeah, no problems. But it was a stressful uh, few minutes because uh, um, we had everything set up and we're already pumping paint. Well, not pumping paint. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful morning in Melbourne and it's a painting day. But I got here early to to get started early to give me a chance to <laughs> <laughs> they get everything done methodically and uh, not stress and uh, getting here early was yeah, a waste of time it's been cold uh, it was cold last night clear cold night and the ship birds haven't been out but there's water dripping onto the boat <laughs> So it's dry in the shed. The roof is dry. But there's condensation on the top of the roof. And of course the roof is not waterproof. So as the condensation like trickles away, <laughs> it drops through every screw hole in the roof down onto my beautifully cleaned deck which means uh, I can't paint you can hear it or I can <sighs> so I'll uh, dry off the, the deck I put some fans on and I wait for the dripping to stop I need a good love So what I've been doing now is wiping off little drops like this. Well, I'm not sure. Yeah. And so port side here was the worst. And still is. Well, it's the worst because the port side of the roof is uh, in the shade in the morning. So this is where it takes longest for the dew to disappear. I'll give it a little more time because I really don't want any water under my paint. If I get water on top of the paint that's that's one thing that'll lead to a bad surface that's okay I can fix that especially when it's primer but water under the paint means the paint doesn't stick so so we don't want that. I am prepared for paint. 
15 liters of paint thinner bucket and uh, mixing things and then uh, mask and coveralls the uh, dew has stopped dripping from the ceiling and the boat is dry so the little pump is good to go I'm good to go and uh, the boat is good to go We now have a white deck and uh, I overestimated the amount of paint I needed by just a little bit so we used about nine liters and uh, yeah I thought 10 12 but uh, yeah got it covered and hopefully covered well in some places too much paint and hopefully not too many places with not enough I'm not pretty pleased I shouldn't be standing here without a mask, but uh, uh, this went really well. Uh, I have some paint left in the bucket. I'll uh, I'll just continue. I'll get both sides uh, painted today as well. So another ten liters or so per side. I'm thinking, maybe fifteen in total, uh, plus whatever I have in the bucket. I think, yeah. I think, uh, well. I'll do a tour tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. It looks pretty damn good. Uh, now, all that's left for today is clean up. So, cleaning the air, this, um, it's less daunting now than it was the first time. Look at her. Gorgeous. Vilda is uh, is all uh, all white. I'll, uh, <laughs> I painted the decks yesterday and the sides. 
I'll give you a, a tour a um, little bit later. For now, I'm working on a project. For more about the next project, do come back next Sunday. But for now, we are absolutely thrilled to see our beautiful white boat. This is a great milestone achieved and we couldn't be happier knowing how hard we've worked to get here. Yes, we still have quite a bit of work ahead of us, but we have to celebrate each step of the way. Thanks for watching! Rising somewhere in